everybody and welcome to back to the Science Center. Um, again, my name is Harley and today we are in our small lab room. So the reason this is called a small lab is that is what this program is that we have going on behind me. So this is a very, very fun thing that we have here and not many people have it in the state. Um, I think we're probably like one of only a couple people in the state that have it. So whenever you come here, um, on a field trip or anything like that, we include this in our field trips and it's just a fun learning environment. So the way this works is that we have these wands right here. We have three of them, but today we're just gonna be using one to kind of work around it. Then you can kind of see around me, you can see all of these cameras that are up along the wall. All of those cameras are motion capture cameras. So these little balls that are on the wand reflect infrared um, lasers and they are captured by the, those motion cameras and that lets us use the projector that's right up there to play any sort of game or learning activity on this mat right here. So the reason this small lab learning is super duper important is because it hits four different types of learning. It hits that kinesthetic learning, which is that physical touch of you holding the wand and interacting with this. It hits the visual learning of you looking at this mat and kind of moving around and working together. Um, which again hits that social type of learning and then it also hits auditory learning So when we have a speaker and a speaker system around here that you are able to hear the different types of um, Sounds that are coming from the game So it hits all of those different types of learning which all together hits embodied learning So those are super duper important thing for us to all um, Soak in all those different types of information and remember those different types of information for good recall and um, it's also super duper fun. So the game that we are going to be playing today is a game called Sort It Out. So that game um, is super duper simple. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up for you guys um, and then we can go ahead and get started. and they will be born. 
to his house before it gets super cold. So we're going to put that in falls because it gets super cold in winter.
that game, you can start a new one or um, go ahead and you can try this one again if you want to get them all right. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how you're able to access some of these games. We are still working on accessing um, and setting up a link for you guys to play some of our games that we've created here at the Science Center. But right now during this quarantine um, period, they, Small Lab Learning is actually offering a lot of their games for free. So I want to show you guys how you can access that and so how you can play that um, on your own computer. You won't be able to use a wand or a mat or anything like this. You'll just be using your mouse and clicking them and moving. But you can still get a lot of those different types of learning um, strategies so that you can play these fun games. So I'm going to go up to the computer now and let you guys see it on the screen how it works. Alrighty, so let's get out of this right here. So we're back to our regular screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your internet web browser. Oop, there we go. And the website is called Small Lab Learning. Dot com slash wink and small lab is s m a l l a b and then the word learning dot com slash wink so once you have that just press enter and then you can see right here it says wink is now free for all educators parents and students so this is what small lab learning has set up so that you guys can play them you can set up an account um, over here log in or build your small lab um, and, or you can just play Wink now. So if you set up an account, you are actually able to search specific topics and specific grades so that the games you want to play, you can play them. But if you just want, if you don't want to worry about doing any of that, you can just click on play Wink now. And then it has all of them right here. It has elementary and middle school up into eighth grade. So let's go ahead and click on, let's just do first grade science. We're going to mostly do science here because we're the science center, but it has math and reading and things like that. So let's go first grade science. So this is, you can kind of see the pictures right there. So that is going to be the sorted out one. This is also another game called matching. So since we did sort it out, let's go ahead and click on that one. So this one is about animal life cycles. So it'll load and then you can move it around. So this one's very similar to the one we did. Egg, hatchling, chick, adult. So you will move them over to where you go. Let's do this real quick. Let's see if we can do it. Let's test my chicken knowledge. Hatchling, adult. Hatchling. Let's move that a little bit. Egg, adult. Hatchling, chick. All right. And so how it was similar to what I showed you earlier, then you'll just go in and click on the middle part right here. So once you um, have solved your sorted out, then you will just exit out and it will actually give you three new ones that you can go and play. But if you make an account, then you're able to search and play specific ones. So yeah. So like I mentioned before, we are still working on trying to get some of our games set up so that you guys can play our specific games. Once we do that, we are going to make a post on our Facebook so that you guys um, are able to click on that link and play some of our games. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got a taste of our small lab learning. And hopefully once we open back up, um, some of you guys can come in and play it with us. Thanks for watching.